Emergency calls come fast and furious at American Ambulance. 911 is your emergency medical or fire. Dispatchers and paramedics are quick to respond to trouble. We have help on the way for Joe right now, okay? But sometimes the people they see and the voices they hear are a little too familiar. Most people don't need ambulances routinely. So uh, even 10 or 12 is a lot, but 25 will get my attention, especially if it's on a tight span of time. Frequent flyers can clog the system, calling 911 for an ambulance ride they don't need to a hospital that can't help them. So they may be just using it as a bus service or a taxi service. Absolutely, it gets used like that every day every day uh, in every system. There's people that use it to get to the other side of town. Fresno County EMS coordinator Dan Lynch decided the problem was too big to ignore in 2011 when two men combined for more than 1,300 ambulance rides. For about seven years now, the county has built a no-fly list for ambulance abusers, people calling at least twice a month for three months or more. And how many units make such a huge difference? Especially with those key people that are on it. Yeah. 16 people have gotten through three warnings and kept calling, then made the list. Meaning paramedics are allowed to deny them a ride if they don't seem to have a real emergency. I tracked down one of them. Dale Whitley called 911 almost 100 times in nine months last year before he got banned in September. Mental reasons and medical reasons. That's the only two reasons. Whitley told me he feels like he's only requesting an ambulance when he really needs it, but he often has allergic reactions and suicidal depression. Have you gone to a hospital since last September? Yes, several times for okay. mental, but mostly it was mostly walk-ins because I'm trying to reduce the risk of me getting locked up. An ambulance ride and a basic hospital visit cost around $800, so taxpayers covered somewhere around $80,000 worth of care for Whitley before his ban. But he says he's afraid for his life and he needs help. Lynch says he's just looking in the wrong place. Fresno County's program tries to divert ambulance abusers into programs for mental health and social services. A lot of these people, if they're overusing the ambulance, they're in some crisis, there's, there's an issue. And so we want to, to get them help. And, and uh, we've always said we want to help them out of the system before we, we have to shut them out of the system. Cities like Minneapolis are now using Fresno County's program as a model for their own. Paramedics say it lets them focus on their real mission, saving lives in true emergencies. Lauren Hogger, ABC 30 Action News. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.